Shalom. I'm your brother Jeremiah from the branch of GMS South Carolina Midlands. And before we start off, all praise, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors are to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom unto you, hopeful elect, scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. We don't have a plan B. You know, all our eggs is in one basket. And that's pertaining unto the hopeful elect of the house of Israel. You know, we're solely dependent on Yahweh Shemal Shai to get us through these times to come, man. You know, during the time of Jacob's trouble. During the time of all hell breaking loose here on the planet Earth. The persecution that's coming, man. World War Three, which will end in destruction, man. You know, throughout all of that, we're depending on Yahweh Shemal Shai. Okay? And, uh, you know, when you read about it here in Jeremiah 30 and 7, it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. So it's going to be a time of trouble for the Israelites, specifically. It says, But he shall be saved out of it. And that's the very important point that I want to pull. He shall be saved out of it, man. All right, pertaining unto the hopeful elect. The ones who put all their faith, all their belief in Yahweh Shemiah Shai and none else, man. All right, they ain't trusting. They swore their gun. All right, because that's the same mindset of our forefather, uh, King David, man. He said he would trust not in his, in his sword, man. And King David was a mighty man. All right, and that's the same mentality we have today, man. All right, because this is this is a spiritual battle. All right, it's not going to be through carnal means that we're going to get through this time, man. All right, and also pertaining to, you know, us being provided for in that time, man. You know, there's a plethora of scriptures that, you know, ensures us that we're going to be, you know, accounted for when it pertains to us eating and drinking, you know. And matter of fact, let me let me pull one real quick, man. You know, this 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 all adds up into that he that shall be saved out of it, man, the, pertaining to the hopeful elect, man. All right, because we don't got no plan B, man. All right, we can't save ourselves. No no other man on this earth can save us. You know, ain't going to be no amount of money that's going to save us. Our sword ain't going to save us. So what So what we have, man? All we have is your how about Shema Shai to get us through this time, man. All right, and none else, okay? Matter of fact, Yahweh Shema Shai is the one bringing all this judgment to the planet earth, man. All right, so it's only right that only how about Shemel Shai can bring you through this time, man. All right, so just reading uh, one of the uh, scriptures, you know, that ensures us that we'll be provided for here in this time, you know, that's coming, you know, which, you know, along with the the world war, you know, the, the economic collapse, you know, the chaos that's going to be going on, you're going to have civil war, you know, you're going to have famine. And matter of fact, our forefather Edger saw this time, man. You know, it was like, woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days, man. Second Edges, uh, 16 and 17, I believe. All right, but reading this scripture right here, uh, this is Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, my servants shall eat. And this is during the time of chaos, man. This is during the time of famine. His servants, the hopeful elect, is going to eat during that time. It says, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. And pertaining unto two thirds, man. All right, two thirds. They got all these type of plans. They know something is about to happen, you know. Though it be told them, you know, via prophecy, you know, by the prophets on what's really about to happen. You know, two thirds. They they gather up arms. They try to get all these uh, different type of uh, food stored up, man. All different type of ammunition and guns. That's not gonna save them, man. All right, but in this time, they're going to be hungry, man. All right, because they didn't trust in the Lord. You know, they didn't trust in Yahweh by Shemal Shai. They lack faith. Okay? The scriptures speak about how all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. For the ones who don't trust in the Lord during this time, you're going to die, man. Okay? Simple and to the point. Second Edges 15 and verse 4. I'll start at verse 3. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, 
that speak against thee. All right, and all different types of imaginations. You know, you got the prophets killers back, man. You know, we were prophesying the downfall of America. You know, this this Edomite uh, queendom. You got two thirds that want to uphold it. All right, so you know, you got some men and women that want to uh, kill the prophets, man. All types of imaginations against us. All right, but we was told to fear not, man. All right, and pretend unto their incredulity, their unbelief. Hey, their unbelief is not going to stop prophecy. Period. All right. Prophecy of Yahweh Shemel Shai is not going to halt or hold because they don't believe, man. All right. So it said, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, man, that speak against thee. Yeah, they always speaking against the prophets, man. Just like in the days of old, man. Nothing has changed, man. But guess what? Verse four, for all the unfaithful, for all the ones that lack faith in Yahweh Shemel Shai in this time, man. Got all types of plan B, C's, D's and whatnot. Outside of just trusting in plan A, trusting in Yahweh Shimao Shai, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. That's what's going to happen to two thirds. That's why two thirds is going to hunger during the time of famine, man. All right. So, reading it back in Isaiah 65 and 13, therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh Shimao Shai, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink. But ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice. But ye shall be ashamed. So the hopeful elect is going to be good, man. They're going to eat. They're going to drink. They're going to rejoice. Okay? Which ultimately is because they got that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh by Shemel Shai of the Holy Scriptures, man. All right? Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. Okay? So we ain't got no plan B, man. We trusting in the Lord all the way, man. Okay, so the Lord assured us we're going to eat, we're going to drink. All right, we're going to rejoice. But two-thirds, they're going to be hungry. They're going to thirst. All right, they're going to be thirsty and they're going to be ashamed, man, for trusting in Egypt, man. All right? And also, you know, some more uh, comfort in scriptures. Let's go to the book of St. Matthew, man. St. Matthew chapter 6. And this applies right now. And, and how much more in the times to come, man? All right? Matthew 6 and 31, and it, uh, Matthew chapter 6 and verse 31, excuse me, it says, therefore, take no thought. Yeah, them carnal thoughts that you may get in your mind, man. Man, what am I going to do in that time, man? You know, two-thirds, they get they get them same thoughts. But the only thing, the difference between two-thirds and the hopeful elect, the one-third, is the hopeful elect, you know, their mind, their thoughts is going to settle on trusting in the Lord, man. All right, simple as that. It says, therefore, take no thought saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or wherewithal shall we be clothed we just read we got that covered man all right this wisdom and knowledge is gonna keep us stable in that time because we know the lord got us man he said take no thought on these things man what you gonna eat what you gonna drink what you gonna be clothed with man verse 32 for all for after all these things do the gentiles seek talking about the heathen man all right two-thirds they just like heathen man that's why they got that heathenistic mindset, man. It says, for your heavenly father knoweth that you have need of all these things. The Lord knows what we need, man. The Lord ain't never forsook us. It says, but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. So continue to follow the commands of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Continue to read his word and keep his word, man. All right, and pertaining to all these things, eating, drinking, clothing, all that's going to be added unto you, man. We have nothing to worry about. Yes, it's going to be a great time of trouble, man. So so bad that Edris was inquiring, who will deliver me in those days? Second Edris 16 and 17, woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, it's going to be, it's going to be all types of judgment out here, man. Sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine, the lack of food, lack of water, man, lack of resources, and great death. It's going to be great death out here, man. It says uh, the beginning of wars, yeah, civil war, race war, the ultimate war, World War Three, which we know that that will end in nuclear destruction, man. And the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils, bad times. What shall I do when these evils shall come? I tell you what the hopeful elect is going to do. They're going to trust in the Lord, man. 
because the Lord got them protected. We just read that the Lord got them, got them provided for in this time, man. You know, and another thing, the Lord got them protected. Psalms 34 and 7, the angel of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, I was shy, and campeth round about him uh, that fear him, uh, round about them, excuse me, that fear him. And deliver them for the ones who got fear in your how about Shema Shai. You got holy angels. You got protection, man. Spiritual protection around you. And that's pertaining unto the hopeful elect. All right. Psalms 34, 17. The righteous cry. Pertaining to you, hopeful elect. All right. It says, The righteous cry. And the Lord, your how about Shema Shai, heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. How much more in the time of Jacob's trouble? We have nothing to worry about. We have no plan B, man. All our eggs is on Yahweh Shemel Shai in the in the basket of Yahweh Shemel Shai. It says, "Many are the afflictions of the righteous." Verse nineteen, Psalms thirty four and nineteen. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Yeah, we about to be persecuted. Yeah, we about to walk. You know, we trying to enter in at the straight gate, man. A degree of difficulty. All right, and the hopeful elect will. Okay, they're gonna endure because he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. Matthew twenty four and thirteen. All right. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, delivereth them, uh, delivereth him out of them all. Not some, out of them all. Okay? And it's only going to get worse, man. All right, things are about to tighten up, man. All right? But guess what? He shall be saved out of it. The hopeful elect. Okay? And, uh, you know, uh, I want to get one more uh, precept. Uh, Psalms 50. I believe it's Psalms 50, if I'm not mistaken. Psalms 50 and uh, 15. Yeah. It says, uh, I'm sorry, 14. It says, Offer unto the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai thanksgiving. Yeah, because Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is worthy of all praises, man. It says, and pay thy vows unto the Most High. Yeah, any type of vows you make unto your Habashim Al Shai, make sure you pay them, man. Okay, I think I think there's a scripture that goes into is uh is better for thou to uh to make a vow uh and, and pay it unto your Habashim Al Shai than to make one and to not pay it, man. To roughly paraphrase it. It says verse 15, and call and call upon me. This is your Habashim Al Shai speaking. And call upon me in the day of trouble. How much more in the time of Jacob's trouble, man? And call upon me in the day of trouble. And I will deliver thee. And thou shalt glorify me. All glory is going to go to Yahweh Shem El Shai. When we call upon the Yahweh Shem El Shai. And he delivers us, man. Lord will we of that number of the hopeful elect, man. We got no plan B. Especially when World War Three gets to the point of nuclear destruction, man. Okay? Only the Lord is going to be able to get you off the shores of America, man. When this place begins to burn. Right? Isaiah uh, 26 and 20. Come, my people. And this, the Lord's people is the Israelites. And this is talking to the hopeful elect, man. Pertaining unto the hopeful elect. Excuse me. Come, my people. Enter thou into thy chambers, and the chambers is entering into a chariot, man. Okay? You getting your spot on the chariot to escape the destruction of wrath, man. Enter into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee, and hide thyself as it were a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed, man. The righteous anger of the Lord be overpassed. You know? For all the ones who got them plan Bs, ain't trusting in the Lord. Which also they're going to end up taking that karagma. Man, they're going to be left there, man. Ain't going to be no chamber. Ain't going to be no chariot for them to enter on to, man. They're going to be left here and destroyed. It says, verse 21, For behold, the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. And the earth also shall disclose her blood and, and shall no more cover her slain. So the Lord is, is about to visit this place, man. Okay? I say he's coming to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. Okay? So There's a whole lot of judgment that's about to hit the planet Earth. You know? 
whole lot of prophecy about to be fulfilled. All right. And we don't have no plan B. All our eggs is in the basket. Yahweh Shemel was shy and the hopeful elect. They're going to be provided for. They're going to be protected. And they're going to be delivered. We just pray and hope that we're of that number, man. All right. If the Lord will, this is edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. So many more precepts and scriptures you can go into, you know, you know, pertaining to having no plan B. Sirach 2 and 10. Ecclesiasticus 2 and 10. Look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, and what's confounded, or did any abide in his fear and what's forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion, verse 11, and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth in the time of affliction. We ain't got no plan B, man. We're open for the mercies of the Lord, man. Okay? So, I hope that this is edifying to the hopeful elect. I'm going to end off with giving all praises unto Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Call it Lahim La, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham or Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom to you, hopeful elect. We don't have no plan B, man. All our eggs is in one basket. And that's in Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Shalom.